Yo, happy new year. Today I'm gonna to show you how much I earn in 2022 off YouTube ad revenue. I will go a little bit into how much we make off sponsorship and also I'll break it down, how you can monetize, um, how long it takes, how long it took me. We can jump through the years. Uh, my best video, then how much is paid for the best video, my best short, how many subscribers, is it worth doing the shorts? So it's all gonna be entailed. I'll put it in the uh, the timeline below. So it's going to skip through to find your particular thing that you wanna look for, uh, but let's get into it. Right guys, so what we have here, if we open up our YouTube Studio app, if you have an account, you will have one of these. This is called your channel dashboard. So on here, you can see here, I've got 80,736 subscribers, which is mental. Um, YouTube Shorts have played a big role in that in the past couple of months, but I will jump into that in a little bit. A few things that we can see if you're new to YouTube and you want to learn some of this sort of stuff, I'm running through all of this, not as a brag, just to help people out that are looking to get into YouTube or in YouTube and want a bit more information. When I first started off, I used to research all this stuff and it was very difficult to find someone that was actually completely transparent and open about it. There's nothing to hide. I don't, I'll happily tell you guys how much money I earn off it because I find it really interesting. If it helps someone else, like I wish I'd have found to start with, then that's a winner. So already hit a like, you know, nice one. Right, what we've got here, uh, views in the past 28 days, we've got 2.2 million. Watch time hours, 55,700. Estimated revenue is 2,163 pound. And it's interesting because of last year, and I'll put a card up here now, I did this whole overview last year. And December for me, because what happens with ad revenue, I'm gonna jump around here everywhere. With ad revenue, when it comes to an event and a holiday, so you've got Easter, you've got Halloween, you've got Christmas especially, uh, advertisers pay a lot more to YouTube to advertise in around that area. So we get a bigger cut. Normally it's almost double of what we normally get. But last year I got nearly £4,000 for December. This year is half. Just because some of them, I didn't put out as many videos and a lot of those videos that I did put out didn't do as well as they did last year. Hence this. Don't get me wrong, over two grand for a month of YouTube videos is a crack and it's amazing. Don't get me wrong. But now I've got a couple of years worth of analytics to compare through. It's interesting to see the difference. Uh, top videos in the past 48 hours, uh, which are all, two of them are shorts and one isn't. Going off that as well, you have rankings. So if you don't know this, YouTube, every time you put a video out, out of 10, one out of 10 is fantastic. It's the top one, 10 out of 10 is the worst one. This one's doing okay, four out of 10. And this only goes off what my actual YouTube videos, my main videos are, but shorts has a different ranking. Same one out of 10, but it's shorts instead of main videos. So it gives you a rough idea of how the video is performing. And if you can tweak it, change the thumbnail, change the title, if it helps it. Uh, I have, um, members down here, uh, which is, I've got a YouTube membership where we do tips and tricks, something like this of how to grow your channel, or we have a WhatsApp group, which is like a big form of other, all of us in it, mostly sparks just to help each other out. And it's a bit of a nice little touch, um, publish videos. So if we go across now to what is my first year on YouTube, this jumps into monetization. So to be monetized from when I started, you had a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours watched. Uh, I hit that one in a couple of videos, which was really good when I started. I did all this main, so I'll run all this through in the last video, which I'll link below from last year. I go into a lot more detail. But that's what I started off as. First year, 1,541 pound, which was amazing because this is just a hobby. Like I've said in the previous videos, I do it alongside work. It was a perfect little treat. I was happy if I earned 100 quid and had 100 viewers. Like that was really, really nice for me. And you can see it generally going up to 712,000 views in the year, which was, I mean, I started in May, so nearly half the year gone already. Well, a quarter, a third, quick maths. Um, and this will give you your videos, your top content, which I've broken into 58,000, fault finding 33,000. And you can go into a lot more with that sort of stuff on there. Um, so that was year uh, 1st of Jan to 31st of Jan, 2019. So this is now from the 1st of Jan to the 31st of December, uh, 2021. Uh, massive increase, 5.9 million, so, uh, million views uh, in that period of time, uh, 705,000 hours watch, which is mental, 25,000 subs on top of what we already had, and a grand total of 27,000 pound made in the year. I'd like to say tax has to be deducted from this as well. YouTube don't do it, we have to do it our end, so make sure you're aware of that before you start getting into it all, because the tax man will have you, and he really will. 
This is when I started getting really good views on my videos. A customer won't pay me, which was 386,000 views. Vantor, 186,000 views. To strip or not to strip, 170,000 views. And it was in this year I started reinvesting the money that I was earning buying uh, buying um, equipment to use to look at the stripping machine there cable stripping machine in case you guys don't know what I'm on about took a day off to film my van video and the other one it just blew up for me which was immense um yeah there's loads of information go into further you can see here how my channel grow last month how did my channel do last week how's it going this week so far it constantly gives you analytics of how to uh, see and what's going on with your channel so this year which is here I've had just shy of 15 million views in a year, uh, 679,000 hours watched, which is actually less than last year. Yeah, it is. I've just noticed that. I've had another 24,000 subscribers on top of it this year and a grand total of just shy, well, 29,500 pound made off ad revenue alone. It's only a little increase from last year, an extra 2,000 pound more yeah, £2,100 more, um, which is an, the jump I would expect from the first year to the second year was massive. I was hoping this year it would be the jump as well, but that's not the case. That's not how YouTube works and the algorithm, uh, but that's what I've had. So down here below is my top content. This one has just hit 2 million views as of yesterday. These are all shorts, 1.3, oh, 1.4 million, just shy of a million, half a million, half a million which is immense. Uh, and then you get down to that one there, number 10, which is an actual YouTube video, which is 140,000. Crazy, crazy analytics. Like it's trying not to let this go to your head is very difficult. Um, it's still a hobby. I still enjoy doing it. Day we obviously have waves in really enjoying it. And then sometimes there's nothing for me to film and it's very difficult. And I get a bit stressed with it because I want to keep pumping the content out because I like it. And it's helped me do loads of other things as well in the background. So now if we go across and jump to the top earning content I've ever done. Customer won't pay me. That has just hit just shy of £2,000 for a video where I needed a video. And I thought, oh, it's a bit of an interesting story. I sat down and it took me 20 minutes to record and to uh, edit on top of that. Put it out there with a couple of pictures. And the videos made me 194000 100, oh Christ, I wish. And that video has made me uh, £1,945, which is sick, as well as the van tour. Took a day off work, hoping that I recuperate the money for the video. £1,700. Stripping the cable, the cable stripper cost me £300. Uh, took me a couple of hours to edit and that sort of stuff. £1,500. So it really, really, really does add up. Over here, we've got our monthly, monthly estimates, which you can sort of see what was going on the past couple of months. Uh, revenue sources. I still get a slice from YouTube Premium because people still watch your stuff. YouTube Premium actually give you a little bit of the money as well. Uh, transaction revenue as well. And then if we pop across to my most viewed video ever, which is the short, it is worth doing short. It's worth taking the time and the effort to edit and do it because it really pushes out the boundaries of what is actually possible for what is a 48 second clip. Gained me 2 million views, 2.1 and 4,000 subscribers which is silly, absolutely silly. The video really, it was just messing around. I had to do this socket anyway, and um, it just blew up, and a couple of other ones have as well, which is really cool to see. So definitely, definitely worth doing your YouTube shorts. And then if we go now to lifetime so far on YouTube, it has just shy of 70,000 pound for the past three years earned off ad revenue alone. Uh, I can go into more details if you guys want to. Let me know below. I can do a few more short breaking stuff down, how things work, you know, how to try and gain more subscribers or get more views on videos. I can give my opinion. I can't say it's going to work, but I've done this enough now. And I think I'm just shy of 500 videos maybe on YouTube. So I'm getting there, but every day is learning. And every time I think you've cracked YouTube, the algorithm changes and uh, yeah. It's not what you think it is. So that's it, £70,000 in three years off YouTube ad revenue, uh, but now I will get into the sponsorship. Like I said last year, I can't tell you exactly how much I earn because I have contracts with different companies. It's a bit confidential. Um, I've got no problem talking about this because if you go on to a website called Social Blade, and it gives you a fairly rough idea of how well people are doing on YouTube. If you type my name in, uh, it's it silly, it says, oh, he earns between £2 and £2,000 in a month. That's a bit of a big gap, really, but it gives you a rough idea, and um, 
it's obviously for me, I can easily go on Social Blade and compare my stuff to what it actually is. It's in and around, so if you sort of go top end of what it is, that's sort of what it works for me. It might be different for other people. I bought a plant from Ikea yesterday in a, in a jar, so I thought I'd put it on screen now as well. Um, sponsorships, I earned just shy £30,000 off ad revenue. Uh, you can pretty much map that as well. Like I almost earn exactly the same off sponsorships. So £60,000 within the year um, isn't bad for a guy who just camera around while he's at work and uh, occasionally spends a bit of money on doing some videos as well. So it is really, really worth it. If you guys are thinking about getting into it, by all means, hit the, uh, the subscription below for the join to the membership. Be part of the WhatsApp group. There's a, mostly electrical YouTubers in there, but there's a few other guys as well, a few tech guys, um, which we all sort of bounce each other if we want thumbnail or titles or just any info on YouTube whatsoever. So if, yeah, if you're interested in joining, hit the link below and uh, we we'll see if we can help push your channel or if there's any advice you need, just give me a shout. Uh, so that's sort of it for 2022. We're going to do this all again for 2023 in a year's time to see if we've expanded massively, hit the same, earned less. Uh, but it's just, I think, a good thing for you guys to see, like I say, and not being big headed. I just want to show you guys because I find it really interesting and I hope you have too. If you have liked it and enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will put the link below so you can check out last year when I went into more details about how I become monetized, how long it took and sort of the process with that. Anyway, happy new year guys and we'll see you, well, we'll see this former video again next year. Take care now, bye bye then.